Hello guys, welcome to Pillow Talks and on today's show we have the lovely Junior Booker. Hey Junior. Hello. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm how good. you feeling? Feeling good, I'm ready. You in the mood really to talk? Always. <laughs> Pillow Talk. Pillow Talks. Talks. Yes. And we have the lovely Jem. Hi. Hey James. <laughs> you that's, that's your little thing, isn't it? That, yeah. That little shiver. <laughs> So guys, today's topic, we're going to be speaking about body count. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Body count, does it matter? Do we need to discuss body count before yeah. we get into, relation, into a relationship? Trust them to say yeah. What, well, why why do you think yeah? Um, Should we discuss your body count? Hmm. I lost count. But <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So therefore, you shouldn't be asking other people's <laughs> business. It, yeah, it's <laughs> exclusive to do this. Like no, I'm, I'm hearing a lot that we, you know, we sh we need to be be discussing this. But is it really any of each other's business? Like, if I have had a partner previously, and one partner, because <laughs> that's how you said it singly. <laughs> no, but I mean, if like if I'm embarking on a new relationship, yeah. why is it his business? how many men I've slept with and why is it my business how many women he's slept with. Personally, I'm not interested at all. Like, how many women you slept with doesn't doesn't bother me. And it shouldn't, I don't feel like it should. I don't think it's any of your business how many men I've slept with. It's, you know, mm. this, this is a new relationship. We should keep the past yeah. in the past. What, so what as, are you thinking? As long as Tao will not call me up and be like, oh, you're linking that thing, yeah? I swear down, yeah, that you. Hey, that you, yeah? Come on. Oh, oh swear God. down. So, so it matters if it's Mad your friend. Is. Yeah, definitely. If it's your friend, if my friend's linked a girl before me, I'm That's like, a good no, point. I can't do that. That's a really I'm good very, point. I like to... I like to be like the Ray J of the group. Yeah. So. <laughs> Ray J? Oh, yeah. Lord. <laughs> Ray J, Kim K. Kind of so, yeah, that's important. When yeah. I was younger, I would ask girls how many guys have they been with. I would actually ask How them. old was you when you used to do that? I was like, let's say early 20s. Okay. That used to actually matter a lot to me. Was now, that, was that, did that matter because of, um, pressure from your friends like you, you didn't you know did no, you just how i felt personally about okay. females i wouldn't okay. want females had like lots of sexual because i was young as well yeah younger i didn't have many sexual at that time i didn't have many partners myself yeah so i'd want someone who didn't have many partners either mm -hmm. now i'm older things have changed a bit come on and i don't care as much anymore about body counts as much? As much. As much. As long as... You shouldn't care. I do care. A bit. Because some girls are a bit bait like that. Yeah. And they'll... They've been... You could, obviously, they've been around. Them kind of girls. <laughs> they've been around. Really, yeah. You can wording. tell. Certain girls... How do carry you tell whether someone's been around? I don't Because you've I don't seen really them with one that. week with this dude, next week with that dude. Yeah, but... So just because the, exactly. Nah, just nah, because nah, you're nah. with someone, that doesn't mean you've ultimately slept with them. It does. For no, me, it does in not. In my head, I'm thinking they're fucking... If I see a guy and a girl together, they're fucking. That's what I think. Oh. Maybe they aren't, but come so, on. So that's why you need to ask them, right? Because you're not actually sure. Yeah, but it just seems like... If I see a girl with a different guy every week, that's not... I'm not going to be the next guy... The fiftieth guy? No, I'm not doing that. So, <laughs> so you don't have no girls as friends that you haven't been intimate with? Yes, you have. I don't. Get, my friends are my friends, aren't they? Yeah. They're like Mandan to me. Like I see them as like Mandan. So what I if someone see sees? No, but like, yeah, I mean, like if we're holding hands or something like that, or okay. hugging and kissing. Not if they're walking on the street. If I see two people holding hands, hugging yeah. and kissing, then I'm going to assume that they're. Doing their thing. Okay. What's Jem? What would what would you feel? How do you feel about this? What about, about body count? Yeah. Would if you no, but okay. For instance, if you met a guy, and um, I don't know. For example, you, he was known to be a player. Would you want to know how many girls he slept with? Being be it made that he could have slept with someone close to you. Would you want to know just for that, for no. those purposes? No. I don't want to know. <laughs> Why? Why don't you want to know? Because to be fair, I don't really care. Yeah. Like, you're dating me, you're yeah. going out with me. Yeah. Why does the next person have to be interjecting into what we've got going on? Hallelujah, praise the Lord. 
You know what, girls? And Steve like... Harvey. Steve Harvey's notion. <laughs> they only need to what? know about you sleeping with three people. Your first dude. <laughs> the dude that you was going out with and the one you're currently with. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. But girls like it when guys have been around. I feel like they Who told you that? Girls, they do. They like to pass guys around. And <laughs> Ugh, I've never done that. Whoa, Listen, whoa, 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 I've whoa. I've seen man then so, get passed so around where, like a bag of Doritos. Where? Yeah, it happens. <laughs> It happens, and girls are like, yeah, yeah, this? yeah. Where did you get this I've from? I've seen girls leave the man's house, and they're on the phone. Yeah, I linked that dude you told me to link. Yeah, he was all right, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I can still hear you, <laughs> isn't it? Can you at least go in your car first before you start baiting up? <laughs> I've seen it happen. Girls don't mind. Man, men, we don't like to share with, I don't like to share girls can I just myself. say something you're saying girls we are women Where, this, okay uh, yeah alright so better no. just, just, it just goes you know to show I mean. he been dealing yeah, with no, you're, no, you're dealing no. with girls why do girls always say that you know what I mean or women will say that girls women they're not the same category I know I a always, girl is still figuring herself I know, out yeah. Yeah. Knows what she no wants. no but yeah. you know what I mean females that's what I mean when I say that girls women I know women don't want to be called girls anymore. I'm going to try to call you women from now on. I'm actually not that bothered. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I know who I am. So yeah. if you want to call me a girl, I'll be a, a I'm girl. I'm talking for about the women one. in their thirties, their forties. <laughs> they don't mind sharing them in. I've seen it. Oh no! I've seen it. What's the, what's that got to do with body count, though? Yeah, because girls like it when a guy's got a higher body count. Who told, who told you, you this? You mean, I know girls, isn't it? Sorry, it's it's just to show you. I, just, I would, I would like girls. to know, I would like to know, has that come out of a girl's mouth that she likes that? Because I, I don't know why. words. Yeah, so you're just making assumptions, assumptions, They just make an assumption, basically. They don't mind it as much as men do. No, that's, men, that's an that assumption. That that's an true, assumption. That is, that is a correct assumption. Men, I mean, men care. assumption isn't correct because you don't actually know if that is the right thing. A man is going to want his woman that he's with to be have dated X, Y, Z before him. But a woman doesn't mind it. It's just, it's just how women are different. And they like See, players. I'm, I'm very different because I do mind. Like, I don't want to... I, I think I wouldn't personally ask that question because I don't really want to have to think yeah. about other girls you slept with. And, and the world is very, very small. It gets too ke- technical. I think if you start ask, asking those sort of questions that are quite intrusive, considering... You know, this is a new relationship and, you know, whatever happened in the past is the past. I don't feel like you should be, you know, trying to get information out of out of a person as to where they've been before. Bill, because you don't mind it. The only thing, no, the only thing is, you know, have, do you have an STT? For me? Wow. <laughs> um, I, that, I think that's, I think that's, a, I think that's a, be- a better question. And, that, and that's from both, from both, if, from both people if you're embarking on a, a new relationship. True. Not... How many people have you slept with? Um, I don't even think I've been asked that in for, I haven't, for more. I haven't, for a while, I haven't been asked that. I used to, get, when I was younger, when men and women were younger, we cared more. Now we're, now we're all grown ups. We don't mind if your, your girl you're with has had previous sexual partners. We like yeah. it, so it means that they've experienced. So when they come, yeah. then they could bring that experience to you in the bedroom. It's a good thing. When you're younger, you don't want a girl that's been around the block, especially like when everyone knows each other. Yeah. Everyone's on the same, go up on the same ends. Everyone yeah. talks on the same ends Well, then you've got to go out at ends, isn't it? That's, yeah, that's... <laughs> it's as simple as that. That's true. But still, you just go on end, you see the same girls from the ends, on different ends, linking different men. <laughs> Some so, girls move that bait. There was, when oh. I was younger, there were girls moving that bait. Okay, but you keep talking about when you were younger. What about now? Yeah. Yeah, now... Present is no, there's, there, there, now Now, women are more smart with it. They're not being so bait. What do you mean? They're, they're not out there saying, yeah... I fuck this guy, I fuck that guy, I fuck this guy. They're, they're more subtle. And so are men as well. We're more subtle as well. So yeah. Everyone's just a bit more mature about sex. Mm. So it's not bait who's fucking who. But when you was younger, we was moving a bit differently. I, so it's a bit more obvious. I agree with that. I agree yeah, with but that. body count. So, so Gemma, if you was with a guy and then he just volunteered his body count and it was over a certain level, would, would, would that make you feel less into him? No, I'd be like, that's nice to know, <laughs> but what are we doing now? <laughs> okay. So the man, so if you're dating a guy who's 30 and he's had sex with like 200 women, would that not put you off with that okay? It, we have to be vetting that. Yeah. Like, why have you had so many sexual experiences? So then have you that got a sexual addiction? So then that means it, that means it would be information it that you would definitely, you might want to know. It wouldn't press me, because I'm like, 
I need to know this, that, and the third. Like, no, I don't need to know. I just need to know the basics. Yeah. Like, do you have a sexual addiction? Yeah. Like, why? So why? Do you think that if someone has had a, if someone does have a high body count, does that determine the person who they are? Does that, you know, can you sort of, you know, make decisions about that person just because of their body count? Because I think that is the ultimate sort of question I want to sort of, you know, get the answer for. I just think. Like, no, it doesn't determine who they are as a person, really. Um, and I wouldn't ask now, and I'm 35, I wouldn't even ask a woman their body. That's none of my business, the body count. But what if, if you found out? If I found out and it was really high, if it was more than me, I'd be like, nah. So then, that, mean, so then that means it. it <laughs> it's not this is what. Uh, the you'll find out uh, ju- through um, the talking opinion and keeps on changing. that keep coming up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I find out and it's really high, it would put me off her. Yeah. It would put me off would her. You, would you stay with her, though? <laughs> what if she was <laughs> the love of your life? Beyonce. She had all the freakiest things that you love. Oh. Then I'm going to be scared to thinking about well, where she learned that from. <laughs> it's uh, into, she, she's into having uh, threesomes. Do you know from? what's funny? Because that, uh, that's, she that wh- if I sleep with someone and they're doing all these moves that is exactly what goes into my head i'm like how many how many you've had a lot of practice like how many girls have you been sleeping with but it's not it's not gonna kind of make me feel like i don't want to be with them <laughs> for a man is different though it's completely different how a man feels that body count and how a woman feels it's completely different if yeah. a woman's got a high body count it's gonna put a man off do you if think a man's got a high body count you think, oh you're a player you must be good at getting girls you yeah. must be a nice girl you're, you're good in bed it's a good thing because it's hard for men to get girls, but it's easy for women to get girls. If a woman's just having sex with bare guys, she don't value herself. But uh, same thing at the So men. hang on, no, 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 no. Why was it like Okay, wait, right. I know what you're gonna say. Let me just, I need to just. A woman doesn't value her body if she sleeps with loads of men. How, like, is that your opinion? Yeah, I'm sticking to it. Wow. Okay, but what about sexual liberation? That's just a new word. You can't get that from just one person. That's where does that even? Fulfilling. I mean, where does that come it's from? The Cardi B, Nicki Minaj thing, women being no, women. actually, so, American so women have been doing it for years now. Shouldn't men respect their bodies too, though? No. Why? <laughs> Why shouldn't they respect their <laughs> That's bodies? That's outrageous. Mm, because our bodies are not as sacred as women's bodies are. Ah, yeah, both are sacred. Ah. The masculine energy and feminine energy. See, I, I think that's together. something that's yeah. Both yeah, yeah, I think that's something that is not, sort of. My body's not sacred. Everyone gets put, to go put out there. Oh dear, just, just jump on. Because women so, have children, don't they? And that's, yeah, that's a very, very sacred, sacred, sacred thing that you know we carry man. that human being in our body. Yeah, but um, so you don't want that, bare different. Yeah, but at the same time, we still have those feelings and we still have those urges. So. So you've got toys for, I guess, and things like that. You don't have to be going out having sex with Tom, Dick and Harold. I've never played with any toys. Well, Google them. What about a human touch? There. Human touch? Yeah, I'm into human touch. Touch physical. yourself. Isn't it? You're human. Touch yourself. <laughs> I, need, um, I need male energy. Well, then find one man <laughs> and just have sex with him. Yeah, no, but... With some man and sex buddy. Yeah. He will be toxic, because that's what <laughs> the situation... But the sex is going to be good. Find yeah. a toxic man with good sex. Mm-mm. I've been that guy on many occasions. And just <laughs> wear him out. Until you can find a proper man. No, that's distracting you from getting the proper man. Yeah, I know, but it's true. That's what girls say as well to me. But that's your issue. So you're kind of, you're, you, you kind of have mixed views, though, because... Not mixed views. Yeah, I've you been do. Very at, at the beginning, you said the body count kind of doesn't matter. Then you said it does matter. No, okay, I'll, I'll then I'll you would, said it matters I, if if it's a certain amount of... of I, I don't o- ask, over, Sorry, I it's, don't, it's over your body count. I don't ask the question. That's why I said... Okay. It doesn't matter so enough you for me wouldn't. to ask. I wouldn't. If I found out and it was mad high, yeah. it would bother me, yes. So, Gemma, how, how are you feeling about this now that we've had a discussion? Is it still the same for you? It's still the same. You don't want to know? No, want it's to none know. of your business? No, it's not. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually I with you. Me, I'm actually with you on this one. I, I, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask. I think it's intrusive. And um, I think it's none of your goddamn business. Whatever I've done before you, was before you were in the it now. Up, this it is can the come present. Up though the past can come back and bite you, so it's not. Yeah, but then, but then, 
Well then, there's footage out there. But then that's your that's <laughs> also footage. a choice though, footage. isn't it? If you you just said you you do you, you would not want to answer the question. I wouldn't answer. So question. then that's your business. That's my business. That's, exactly. But then out, if it comes out, then, that, a, then that's then also business. your business. Then that was a problem. Someone Why tells me no because you should if you if this is the thing you can't pick and choose. Well, you can pick and choose, yeah. but in a relationship you have your standards, mm-hmm. isn't it? And yeah. you go into that relationship and you communicate with that person. This is what matters to me. This is what doesn't matter to me. If you're saying that doesn't matter to me, but, you know, it's five years down the line, if I find, find out that you actually slept with two of my mates, that I'm going to have a problem. And that's just, that's just, that doesn't make sense. It does make sense. No, it doesn't. If I find out you've had sex with the man them, I'm not going to ask you, look at all these guys in this picture. Have you had sex with any of these guys? I'm not going to do that. If I find out you've had sex with various guys in the picture from my <laughs> from, from the last holiday in Magaluf <laughs> in 2015, I'm going to have a problem. And now so, it's my business. Now it's a problem. So do you think? So okay. So in that scenario, you saying if you're if the girl knows that she slept with your friends, then she should tell you before. Well, what men She's do? She's obligated this to is, tell this you. This is before. what men do. I'll keep a little secret. When we meet a girl, sometimes we take a, get a picture of her and we put it in the mandem group and we're like, does anyone know this girl before Whoa. I get involved with this girl? That's what we do. That's what we do. Oh, gosh. Is that what you do? That's what we do. Just, I, and that's like a CR, called a CRB check. Oh, so I've check heard about that. Thing. Yeah. I've heard about that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Probably been in that there is actually that real. And the, yeah, oh. that's what we do. Wow. Does any man know this girl? Be honest. No. Be like <laughs> or forever hold your peace. Forever hold your peace. <laughs> okay. Tell me now. I need to start doing me. that. Scenario, what if you met a girl yeah. um, about to get married Here we go. and then your best friend mm. said he slept with her yeah. when they were teenagers? Does that matter? No. No, nah, it's about not. to get mad. It's too yeah. late. But you, said, said, too late. Wedding, but you said your friends. This has been like that's, that's one your friend, though. Friend. That's a teenager, that's though. Friend. That's a teenager. It was like okay. a long time ago. It doesn't count, really, does it? Yeah, if it's one friend. It still counts. Well, it would count. If he, to- if he told me before he would start liking her, it would bother me. Yeah. But now I'm in love with her, I can overlook it. But yeah. talking about someone I'm in love with, if it's a girl I've just met, then I'm not, I don't love her. So the CRB check is important. But if it's too late, if I'm walking down the aisle, I'll be like, you know what, I'm, I love this woman. That so was like know, a long time ago. Do you ago. know what? That actually just means that body count doesn't really matter. It does matter. I've never said it doesn't matter. Don't try and tell me it doesn't matter. <laughs> Why can you not just... It does matter. No, you've just... It I'm just not going to Okay, ask. wait. Does your teenage years count as well? Yes. Because your friend didn't count? Yes. Listen, if I, if I meet <laughs> oh, you... Oh, you're too much. I if, can't if, cope. If, I, if I meet you, I'm not going to ask you, oh, have you been in prison or have you mur- murdered anyone? I'm not going to ask you that. But if it comes up and you have murdered bare people, you've been in prison or you've done some madness, it's going to bother me. But I don't ask them kind of questions. Yeah. You wouldn't find it sexy. Uh, but I, th- I, I think, it, I think it bothers <laughs> men. I think it bothers men more than women. It does. I think it bothers men. And it's I've, an ego strength. Yeah, and I think yeah, that's probably why strength. women don't really care about your body count, but men do. Women because they they're, they're looking for this unrealistic virgin that doesn't exist basically. And then once their bubble is popped, they you know they start having a heart attack. But um, for me. Body count does not matter. I'm not going to ask you for your body count, so it's cool. And um, what well, if it was really low, like two two girls? <laughs> Would that bother you? <laughs> if a man has sex with two girls and something like that? Oh, would no, it wouldn't. He's probably it stiff would, in the bedroom. Would, 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 well. I'm going to have to teach you, mate. <laughs> exactly. There's going to have to you know, be something We're, na- we're natural n- nurturers, us women, with, you know? Be patient with him, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. We'd be patient, we'd be patient. You just need to learn how, you just need to ha- know how to work your ting in it. Because ain't nobody trying you're to gonna have teach dead him. sex. You're going you're gonna to teach him, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not okay. teaching, I can't be teaching It can't be small either, much. because yeah. boy, wow. that's, that's dead. Wow. That's, an, that's another topic. Wow. Guys, <laughs> the conversation's been interesting. I've loved having you here. So I love thank, being here. Thank you for your time, and I hope to see you back soon. Thank you, guys. But guys, today's topic is going to be... Why do women cheat? Women cheat or men cheat? <laughs> Why do women cheat? Oh, Lord. Men, Let's debate ourselves men, up. <laughs> no. We don't need to give them too much, but, you know, we're, we're, you know, it's good to have an honest conversation about where, why women cheat.